Hey there, it's Vocabulary Friday and today it's all about phrasal verbs. So we've learned words, sentences and even phrases during this entire program. But if there's one thing that's going to make you sound like a fluent native English speaker, then that's phrasal verbs. A phrasal verb is actually a verb in a phrase. So it's about two or three words and one of them is a verb. The other ones could be adverbs, prepositions or other parts of speech. And together they make one semantic piece. Now there are thousands of phrasal verbs. So for today's class I've picked one single verb called take and the most popular five phrasal verbs around it and the multiple meanings of each one of them. So let's get going. Hey, this is Chetna and you're watching Chet Chat and this is the 21 day English speaking course and you're watching day number 5. So in today's class we are going to cover 5 common phrasal verbs with the verb take and their multiple meanings and you're going to sound like a fluent English speaker when you use all these phrasal verbs. There's also going to be a quiz. You're going to get answers to quiz number four from the previous class and a shout out to the fastest five correct answers. And if you want a shout out in our next video, then you need to switch on your notifications on your phone, click on that bell icon and tune in at 4 p.m. sharp on Fridays. So let's talk about phrasal verbs. Phrasal verbs are best understood in context. It may not be such a great idea for you to learn them off a vocabulary list. But it's great when you're listening to a native English speaker or maybe if you're watching a show on Netflix, then look out for these phrasal verbs with the verb take and while you're listening, make quick notes and go back and try and practice and sound like a pro. Take off. This phrasal verb has several different meanings. The first is like take off, an aeroplane taking off and becoming airborne. For example, what time does the plane take off? The plane took off on time. Now phrasal verbs usually act like verbs in the sentence, which means they denote the action. But sometimes a phrasal verb like take off can be used as a noun by removing the space in between, making it one single word take off and saying the plane had a smooth take off. Take off also can be used to mean remove and this can be used in several different contexts. For example, please take off your shoes outside. He took off his tie after coming back from work. They took the injured player off the field. Please take your feet off the table. Take off can also be used to mean leaving suddenly. Just like an airplane quickly goes up into the air, if somebody just kind of has to leave suddenly, you can always say his phone rang and he had to just take off. Take off can also be used to mean become successful. So just like your choreograph is taking off like an aeroplane. For example, his choreograph just took off after he joined the new company. Her business has really taken off ever since she started online sales. Take off can be also used like taking time off and that means not going to work. For example, after lunch when Nick's stomach started rumbling, he decided to take the rest of the day off. Working without a holiday for three years stressed out Karen and she took the entire month off. Take something off can also mean like removing something and that can be used in the context of price. So taking something off the price which means like offering a discount. For example, I bought a drone camera online and the company took 10% off the original price. If you pay in cash, we will take an additional $10 off the original price. Now make some sentences we take off in the different connotations and put them down as a comment under this video. Phrasal verb number two is take out. Once again, it has multiple meanings. One meaning of take out could be to withdraw, to bring something out, to literally take it out from somewhere. For example, I took out a handkerchief from my pocket and wiped the glass. She took out her family heirlooms and had them cleaned up. 
take out is also frequently used in the context of anger as though you're taking out your anger on someone for example the mother stood patiently as the child took out his frustration on her when he is under pressure he takes it out on me take out can also literally mean taking something and keeping it outside for example please take the trash out it is very smelly take out may also mean to take somebody and go out to a place outside for example may i take you out for coffee they take the dog out twice a day take out also means to kill or to destroy is literally take them out of this world <laughs> for example the sniper took out several army men before he was arrested the night bombing raid took out the bridge which means destroyed the bridge take out is also used as a noun sometimes it's one single word without the gap in between take out and that means taking food out of a restaurant i ordered take out at a chinese food restaurant this is a very american way of speaking if you were to say the same thing in a british language you would say take away example i ordered for a take away pizza now make some sentences with take out and put them as a comment right now under this video and if you want to learn more words phrases sentences then please take a look at our learn english playlist and i'm going to drop links to that under this video as well and before we move on to the phrasal verb number 3 let me remind you that many of you want the transcripts to the video you've asked me for the quizzes and the answers to the quizzes in writing and all of that is available on our website and i'm dropping a link to that as well under this video phrasal verb number 3 is take on take on once again has multiple meanings but broadly the meanings are like take it upon yourself broadly you'll see all of them hovering around the same idea of taking on something which is taking it on yourself let's get specific tired of getting bullied by the seniors the eighth graders decided to take them on after finding a capable lawyer the workers felt that they could take their corrupt employer on take on also means to accept additional responsibility for example i was keen to learn new things so i took on several projects at work mother took it on herself to invite everyone to the party take on would also mean to acquire something or to add something new for example students often take on large loans to fund their college education the company is not taking on new employees at this stage take on also means that something begins to take on the appearance of something else the chameleon took on a green color as it moved on the lawn the dialogue took on a new meaning with the change in expression now quickly make sentences with take on and put it as a comment under this video and if you want to go back and see classes 1 to 4 of this 21 day english speaking course i will drop links to that as well right here under this video phrasal verb number 4 is take up take up means to fill or to occupy a lot of space for example i have made 250 videos and all this data takes up a lot of space in my computer the table was so big that it took up the entire space in the study take up also means to start a new hobby so you want to fill your time just like you want to fill your time or space you want to fill your time with a new hobby you take up a new hobby for example she has taken up weight training to gain physical strength the boys took up music to make good use of their time take up also means to address an issue so if there is a problem you take that problem up to the person who's responsible for solving it and try to get it solved for example let's take this up with the principal they can't let this problem continue they will have to take it up with their boss take up also means literally that if you have a piece of clothing and you want to make it slightly shorter you take it up for example they took up the curtains before the rainy season to avoid getting them wet my trousers are too long i need to take them up and to take someone up on something is to accept an invitation a challenge an offer or a bet 
For example, I'll take you up on your offer to help me tomorrow. So you think you can beat me in chess? I'll take you up on that challenge. Now quickly make sentences with each of these phrasal verbs and put it down quickly as a comment. And we've got one more phrasal verb remaining before the quiz comes up. Phrasal verb number five is take two. This one has two different meanings. Take two means to begin to do something or form a habit of doing something. For example, during the lockdown, I have taken to baking and I quite enjoy it. With physical classes cancelled, the teachers took to teaching their students online. Take two also means to develop a liking for someone. For example, the dog took to Maria instantly and started licking her. Rita took to swimming like a fish in water. And now it's quiz time. And here are the solutions to quiz number four from class number four. And now a big shout out to the fastest five correct entries of quiz number four. And that's all for now. Quickly press that bell icon so you get your notifications every time we go online. And remember to log in at 4 p.m. on Fridays. And happy learning!